Zan Xian felt a twinge of irritation at the old man's words. Do as you wish. Another saying echoed in his mind. Dream on if you think I'll yield just because it's tough. Yang Zhuan chuckled and remarked to Liu, the martial artist. You're up for it then. The old man was still grappling with his resentment and envy, thinking, let's see how you manage to make a breakthrough. If you can't break through successfully, just wait. Li Lai approached John Qian, his brother, expressing dissatisfaction. John Qian nodded and replied, It's fine, go ahead. Liu Lai pointed out several sealed acupoints on his body. Yang Zhuan took the bag prepared by Xiao Kong and said, All right, later on, no matter what happens, refrain from intervening. Let's begin. The martial artist seemed to have some intention as his wild gaze revealed. Finishing his sentence, he draped the bag over Zhang Qian and muttered, What do you wish to accomplish? I am a martial artist, a person of status. Make it clear to me, what's the significance of this bag? Shen Tui instinctively moved to intervene but was held back by Zhang Fei, who said, Don't panic. Let's see what he's up to first. The martial artist stepped aside and instructed, It's your turn now. Don't you want to help John make a breakthrough? Begin. Strike hard for me. The harder, the better. The guards and old John Xian were horrified. Hit the martial artist. We don't want to die. Is the old man serious? Helping turns into attacking. Still hesitating? Don't worry, he's already covered with the cloth bag on his head. Can't see a thing. So won't know who's hitting. If you're still not at ease, cover him with a few more treasures. Then it's guaranteed not to see anything 100%. Old man, this is either giving them an opportunity or pushing them into a deep hole. They hesitated. When they first arrived, they were already seen, and if there are more, it's obvious we're the ones attacking. Li Lai fumed. He doesn't want to help with the breakthrough. He just feels suspicious and wants revenge. Never heard of covering the head with a bag, gathering people for a fight as a breakthrough strategy. The martial artist solemnly stated, This is something John has agreed to. If he messes up his breakthrough, can you bear the consequences? The guards gritted their teeth. Death is inevitable. Follow the old man's orders and leave. No more hesitation. After all, the old man is a martial artist. This lifetime doesn't offer many chances to fight a martial artist. Since death is certain, let's be decisive. With that, they all aggressively attacked the bag containing Zhang Qian as if they were envious of someone. Inside, John Qian used his internal energy to control the pain, angrily saying, Yang Zhuan, you're quite something. You don't want to help me break through, but intentionally provoke me. The martial artist outside looked thrilled watching the fight, gesturing and saying, You, you're hitting the wrong place. Yes, that's it. How long does the old man have to endure? Yang Zhuan pondered before slowly replying, How long? Let me think for a moment. How about this, hit until death? Hearing that he was to be beaten to death, John Chan's face darkened. Enraged, he unleashed his internal energy to break through the suppressed acupoints. Without needing anyone's assistance, he charged like a mad bull towards Yang the martial artist. Yang Zhuan, today, I won't kill you. I no longer belong to the Zhan family. Let's see your cultivation, then decide whether I'll kill you or not. The martial artist Yang yawned lazily pointing straight at John Qian. Hearing this, John Qian seemed to wake up abruptly, looking bewildered. This, this can't be, just like this. I'm halfway to becoming a master. The three brothers accompanying him witnessed this. Even from outside, they couldn't help but be astonished. Liu Lai widened his eyes, thinking to himself, getting beaten up is considered a success now. Being beaten by someone else is also a breakthrough method. Meanwhile, King thought about their old master. Maybe we should go back and spar with the old master. But the one who understood the situation the most was Yang, the martial artist. Yang Zhuan chuckled, not killing me anymore, huh? At this moment, Zhang Xian bowed his head, clasping his hands in gratitude. I, please forgive my ignorance. Yang, the martial artist, waved his hand. It's okay, I don't blame you. Your martial arts skills displayed earlier were very stable, without any outstanding features nor any flaws indicating that from childhood to adulthood, you've been very serious in your studies, surely having an excellent teacher. John Xian nodded. Yang, the martial artist, is correct. My father is a one-star martial artist. After years of cultivation and accumulation, the internal energy and strength within your body have already broken long-standing constraints. 
and reached halfway to becoming a master. Unfortunately, your mind hesitates, lacking confidence. If I'm not mistaken, your father in this lifetime probably wouldn't have achieved this level, and perhaps there might have been some incidents due to the clash of this level, right? He arrived and startled me. I didn't expect him to notice these things, Yang Zhuan remarked. Although your father is a one-star martial artist, he still hadn't reached halfway to the Grand Master Realm. Because of a failed clash, he suffered cultivation deviation, lost his cultivation entirely, and ultimately died in sorrow. I'd never disclosed this secret to anyone. So how did he know? Could it be because he observed my martial arts just now? Yang Zhuan further explained. This fear has prevented you from making a breakthrough. Any elixirs, any techniques, all futile. You asked for my guidance. Knowing that to succeed, you must overcome this fear first. Otherwise, all efforts would be in vain. But this hidden fear within you, for who knows how many years, overcoming it is incredibly difficult. The only way, indeed, is anger. Utilizing this special emotional state to dissolve the fear within. That's why I did what I did. Someone unaware of the reason, like you would surely resent me to the core when I humiliated you like that, wouldn't they? By doing so, the fear in your heart will vanish, and with the accumulated anger over the years, a breakthrough becomes feasible. Zan Qian understood the situation and bowed deeply, expressing his gratitude to the martial artist in profound respect. Zhan Qian will never forget this for the rest of his life. The martial artist Yang turned back and replied, So, you no longer doubt my disguise. Once again, these martial artists felt the penetrating gaze of Yang Zhuan. Zhan Qian mused to himself, he must have known our suspicions for a long time, yet he didn't expose them, and even help me break through. This is the true demeanor of a martial artist, the excellence of a true master. Zhang Fei murmured, This person in front of us, though young, is indeed a genuine and valuable martial artist. Liu Lai agreed, exactly with his understanding of cultivation, and the ability to see through John Chan's issues and assist him in breaking through. Even though this breakthrough may seem unconventional, successful breakthrough demonstrates his competence, surpassing us. All five of them took a few sips of tea and engaged in cheerful conversation. Martial artist, I also have a cultivation issue that I've been grappling with for years. Another sees the opportunity. Martial artist, I also have a problem that I'd like to seek advice on. Yang Zhuan sighed helplessly. Each of you, one at a time, please. A few moments later. Many thanks for the guidance. Another day we will come to pay respects again. Um, Xiao Kuang, see the guests off. When only two people remained, Yang Zhuan and Shen Tu King. Do you want me to guide your old master to break through? Shen Tu nodded. That's right. Before he could explain further, the martial artist intervened. I came to Tan Zhuan City just for cultivation. I don't want to get too involved in trivial matters. But the true meaning behind his words was, this old master has long reached halfway to becoming a master. Breaking through to the transcendent realm is the next step. I haven't even reached the transcendent realm myself. Guiding Zon to break through was just luck. Absolutely cannot be a widespread practice, exposing vulnerabilities. Yet King bowed before him, saying, I hope the martial artist will take action. As long as you do, our Tian Xuan city is willing to exchange anything. Yang Zuan pondered, Do you feel I lack something? All right. How about this? Help me find manuscripts related to the transcendent realm's false martial arts. The more the better, regardless of rarity. When you find over 1,000 volumes, then I can consider guiding your old master. King's expression darkened. What? You said there's nothing lacking, yet you ask for manuscripts on the transcendent realm. Moreover, 1,000 volumes. Even the palace wouldn't have that many. What does this martial artist want to do? Seeing the hesitation, Yang Zhuan turned inward. If it's too difficult, then forget it. King hurriedly waved his hand. Not difficult, not difficult. Please rest assured, martial artist. I will definitely complete it within five days. Yes, go ahead. Many thanks to the martial artist. Everyone had left, leaving only Yang Zhuan inside. He exclaimed joyfully. I didn't expect the problem that gave me a headache to have such a simple solution. Xiao Kung suddenly turned back very quickly. Sir, this is the gift left by the three martial artists. He took the ring. It's a spatial storage ring. He threw it in front of him. Let's see what's inside. As the owner, this is ten times larger than my own space. These treasures, rare herbs, 
and this money are worth much more than millions of silver coins. It's a large sum, truly befitting a martial artist. Just casually throwing it around is already worth over a million, much more generous than others. Xiao Kong spoke up. In the past few days when you weren't at home, Lord Ling Ten Yu also came several times, bringing five million silver notes each time. There have also been recent visits from a few others, and I've compiled a list. In total, there are 27 people, all of whom have contributed money, totaling 81 million. Yang Zuan was stunned, unable to utter a word, so he had to remind himself. Before, I thought earning over 20 million was harder than reaching the sky. It seemed impossible. It seems I underestimated the influence of the martial artist. This money can't be returned. However, today I have to guide 27 people, which is exhausting. Tell them, those who have contributed money should come here tomorrow, and I will guide each of them one by one. As for those who haven't paid yet, they can leave. The martial artist Yang Zhuan, or rather Yang Zhuan himself, called Xiao Kong back and said, Wait, this is your reward. I told you, following me. You won't lose out. Xiao Kuan was shocked when he saw the martial artist giving him one million. This amount of money was something he couldn't earn in his lifetime. He quickly accepted it, bowing his head in gratitude. Thank you, sir. From now on, whatever you command, Xiao Kuan will obey, even unto death. Yang Zhuan replied, All right, I'll go out for a trip. You handle the people at the gate. At Hong Fen Academy, in Lu Shen's lecture hall. Teacher Lu, the martial artist Yang Zhuan has appeared. Lu Shen was surprised. He's here already. Teacher Wang continued. Yes. Today the martial artist Liu has just arrived to pay his respects, accompanied by Shen Tu King. They didn't stay long, but their attitude was extremely respectful. It seems this martial artist is the real deal. Moreover, his rank is not lower but higher than Liu's. Lu Shen's face lit up, higher than Liu the martial artist so he must be a two-star martial artist. Right, come on, let's prepare a bit. We'll go pay our respects too. He thought to himself, he he, once recognized by a martial artist, I can take one step closer to the sky. Teacher Wang held him back, Lu Shen. Wait, news of the martial artist's appearance has spread everywhere. Countless people want to pay their respects. I'm afraid we won't get our turn. Moreover, to pay respects, you have to submit three million gold coins beforehand or don't even dream of stepping inside. Such a large sum, our master might have it, but we. Lu Shen was stunned at the figure of three million, thinking, even if we consider ourselves famous teachers, we can only earn 2,000 or 3,000 gold coins a month. This three million, ha ha, no need to worry. Although submitting three million gold coins is the rule to pay respects, everyone is here for their own interests. They definitely won't submit it up front. It means, as long as it's not mentioned, we probably won't be exposed. But that's a bit like swimming in murky waters. Not a good idea. People aren't foolish. If they don't pay, they might not even step through the door. Lu Shen spoke with great confidence. It's not about swimming in murky waters, but about leveraging our status as renowned teachers to navigate through this phase. With the two of us, who in this city would dare to disrespect us? As long as we find a suitable candidate, submit their credentials, the rest is easy. The martial artist also wants to accept disciples, and being the most famous teachers in Tian Xuan City, we perfectly fit the criteria. Just write a good letter of introduction, showcase our teaching achievements for him to review, and he might agree immediately. As for the so-called three million gold coins, they're useless. What we need to focus on is how to deliver the letter. As for the financial aspect, not gathering enough shouldn't be a problem. Teacher Wang felt a bit hesitant, but had no words to refute. Lu Shen continued enthusiastically. Moreover, to become a martial artist, it's not just about personal strength. It's essential to be able to teach students. We have many students like that, with outstanding credentials, so there shouldn't be any issues. Teacher Wang thought, Lu Shen seems overly excited. Lu Shen leaned closer to Teacher Wang. If all else fails, we can invite him to observe and evaluate the teachers tomorrow. See how I outshine Zhang Zhuan. When he sees how outstanding I am, he might feel inclined to accept me as his disciple as well. It makes sense, based on our status. Slipping in the credentials should be simple, and maybe we won't even need to pay, he realized in his mind. Furthermore, this teacher evaluation is a golden opportunity. If that master Yang Zhuan happens to pass by there, he'll definitely notice Lu Shen and take him as a disciple. 
As long as he succeeds, I'll have hope too. Let's just go. Let's prepare a bit and then pay our respects. All right, let's go. A few moments later, at the Master Pill Refiner Guild, a large bird was circling nearby. On its back was a figure of some authority. Ali Yang and Master Pill Refiner seemed to be waiting for this person. The figure stepped down. Greetings, Master Pill Refiner Hong Yun. Both of them bowed in unison. Master Pill Refiner Hong Yun glanced around. Where is Zhang Juan? Zhang Master Pill Refiner must not be in the city, so he didn't come here. Hong Yun suddenly raised his voice. Nonsense. This time, besides bringing the breakthrough pill, the blood of the colossal titan you brought here, I also want to re-examine this Zhang Zhuan. Becoming a master pill refiner. Although it's been passed down from ancient times, it has its own special rules. Yet you say the person I want to examine isn't here. Bring the jade token with the notes from that day over here. If I find any cheating, all participants in pill concocting will be punished. Ouyang Cheng hesitantly presented the jade token. If I detect anything inappropriate, I will revoke the qualification directly and initiate. Master Pill Refiner Hong Yun displayed the jade token in front of everyone, revealing the image of Zhang Zhuan, eliciting surprise from the crowd. Guild Leader Ouyang, you've been a longtime member of the guild. Why act so recklessly? How could someone so young achieve successful pill concocting? Ouyang Cheng replied, initially, we thought the same. A voice emitted from the jade token. It's just like this. Any master pill refiner present here, if anyone feels there's a mistake, I'll concede immediately. Hong Yun responded promptly, casually, I dare not guarantee. One-star errors in pill concocting can be discerned by a disciple, indeed. Ignorance knows no bounds. Suddenly, his expression turned cold. Hold on. These are only understood by higher-ranked master pill refiners. In the case of understanding the furnace specifications, one can use them correctly. It's surprising that a disciple could articulate this clearly. Ouyang Cheng further explained, Master Pill Refiner Hong Yun. After this incident, we made a special comparison, meticulously checking. Despite factors like weight, size, furnace thickness, crafting time, delivery frequency, and the drugs used, Zhang Zhuan Master Pill Refiner statements were all accurate. Moreover, we conducted experiments regarding permeation temperature. Indeed, 34 times of vapor infusion were necessary without a single error. The jade sphere inscribed with a message. Lost 30%. Failure. 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 Elder Hong Yun's face turned green as he said, No, it can't be. A master pill refiner also spoke up based on the sequence Zhang Zhuan mentioned. Then let's try again. The percentage he mentioned is accurate, not a bit more or less. This is an experimental record. Master Pill Refiner can look over it. Hong Yun was quite shocked to hear. Experimental record. He thought to himself, if each step is clearly recorded, then, who knows, it might remember the sequence of incorporating the 47 types of medicinal materials, the reaction of each type produced, and the loss rate. Even I couldn't do it, being young and able to do those things. A graceful figure entered the announcement. Chairman Ouyang. Master Pill Refiner Zhang Chuan requests an audience. Everyone's eyes widened upon hearing. The old man was still surprised to the point of dropping the jade sphere, muttering, That confident fellow, huh? Old Ouyang panicked and exclaimed, Hong Yun, Master Pill Refiner, be careful, that's. But it was too late. The sphere fell and shattered into a hundred pieces. Ouyang cried out bitterly, That's our institute's only jade sphere recording. Zhang Zhuan walked in with an indifferent expression, still trying to be polite. Hello, Chairman Ouyang. Has the item I wanted to purchase arrived? The two clasped hands. Ouyang replied, It's here. Master Pill Refiner Hong Yun brought it over. He also inquired of Ouyang. By the way, how are you doing? Hong Yun interjected into their conversation. Master Pill Refiner Zhang Zhuan, please be patient. He turned to the old man and asked, And who might you be? The old man also joined in, pretending to introduce himself. I am Hong Yun, with some doubts about pill refining, seeking advice, hoping master pill refiner Zhang Zhuan can provide answers. Zhang Zhuan casually responded, Sorry, I'm busy, I'm not your teacher anyway. If you have questions, go read books, why come find me? Find a cool place to sit if you need one. Master pill refiner Ouyang hurriedly reminded, 
Master Pill Refiner Zhang Zhuan. This Hong Yun Master Pill Refiner is a two star Master Pill Refiner appointed by the main sect. He further inquired, A two star Master Pill Refiner, duly noted. If there's an issue, speak up, I have matters to attend to. The two senior Master Pill Refiners heard this and could only be speechless, thinking, Master Pill Refiner Zhang. Regardless, that person is still a two star Master Pill Refiner, coming to inspect them and you're saying you're busy like this. If they fail, Master Pill Refiner Hong Yun can revoke their Master Pill Refiner status. Hong Yun began his questioning to test him. In the process of refining the highest grade instant recovery pill, when the pill is formed, the pill tends to turn yellow. I want to ask, how should this be addressed? The young man replied, you call yourself a second grade Master Pill Refiner, yet you don't even know this. The instant recovery pill can restore the human body's strength, the main herb being myriad fresh herbs. Once it comes into contact with human ki, it turns pale yellow, not because of the herb's issue, but due to the impurities in human ki. If there's purer ki, this situation won't occur. If you want the pill not to turn yellow, it's quite simple. Either add an azure sunflower during the pill refining, which can absorb the impurities of the ki, thus keeping the myriad fresh herbs from changing color. As he answered, he nodded as if drifting off to sleep. Hong Yun continued his inquiry. So, if the pill uses azure lotus as the main herb, which usually has a bitter taste, and adding licorice makes it prone to explode, how do you solve that? He had the strain to answer. Azure lotus has a bitter taste because of the two yellow flowers on it, which serve no purpose. Just discard it, and there's no need to add anything else. The pill won't be bitter. On the contrary, it will have a sweet taste. Adding licorice is futile. Of course, it will explode. Are you sure you're a two-star master pill refiner? You don't even know this. It's truly incomprehensible how you managed to pass as a two-star. Here, Hong Yun was infuriated by the blunt words of the young man. Read more books. Read more books. I'm testing you, not seeking your guidance. Zhang Zhuan continued, Fine, if it's just these issues, then the advanced scroll repository of the guild has them all. If there's nothing else, go there and read more. I have things to do. Quickly bring me the items I ordered. I have to leave. The old man couldn't help but ask further. Wait, there's one more issue. If you can answer it, I won't ask any more questions. And I can even offer a free breakthrough pill and blood of the Colossal Titan. Upon hearing this, Zhang Zhuan's eyes lit up. Breakthrough pill and blood of the Colossal Titan are materials worth 23 million gold coins for free. He brightened up full of enthusiasm. You said it. A two-star master pill refiner's word carries the utmost weight. While my mind is still clear, ask your question quickly. Hong Yun was also at a loss. While talking to him just now, my eyes were closed shut. But as soon as I heard for free, they opened wide, feeling quite excited. The old man said, the issue is, whenever I refine the essence core pill, it always explodes. Hearing this, the two master pill refiners were extremely surprised. Essence Core Pill, a high-grade second-grade pill. Even for a three-star master pill refiner, it's difficult to refine. And here, Hong Yun Master Pill Refiner is asking a one-star master pill refiner how to refine a high-grade second-grade pill. Upon hearing this question, Zhang Xuan became tense, pondering for a long time. The Essence Core Pill, ha, huh. the books I've read before, didn't mention this type of pill. Couldn't it be that my knowledge is lacking? Is it a rare and precious herbal medicine? Never mind if it exceeds the scope of knowledge from the books I've read before. Then consult the Heavenly Way bookstore. He proposed, This issue of yours requires observing the pill refining process to understand the cause. Hong Yun agreed, agreed. He led everyone to the pill refining furnace, then reminded carefully, Let's start here. I suggest everyone step back. Holding the azure sunflower in his hand, he examined it carefully, and after adding that herb, its fragrance permeated the air. Zhang Zhuan smelled it, and a sudden thought occurred to him. The essence core pill, just smelling its fragrance during refining, makes the whole body feel vigorous and reduces pain. Hong Yun quickly closed the furnace door, and after a while, smoke billowed out. Two pills appeared at the furnace's door. Covered in dust and smoke, he turned to the young man and asked, I've finished refining. Speak, what's the matter in the end? He touched the testing sample and asked. 
Are you really a two-star master pill refiner? Upon hearing that question, Elder Hong Yun, the master pill refiner, furrowed his brow. What do you mean? Zhang Zhuan inquired curiously. What properties does the blue lotus herb have? And what about the golden money word? Master pill refiner Hong Yun replied. The blue lotus herb is crystalline in appearance, gentle in nature. Golden money word, golden silver bicolor also known as golden flower silver leaf, is considered a neutral herb. The young man elaborated, these two verbs, although both neutral in nature, when combined, create a mutation, turning into a hot property. He said, I know this. The formula for the essence core pill has been passed down for a long time, and it includes these two herbs. If the explosion is indeed caused by their combination, then others would also have explosions. Moreover, the sequence of adding herbs on my part is flawless. Between these two herbs, I even added a spray of rosemary for neutralization, followed every step meticulously, and there was no room for error in timing either. After hearing the elder's explanation, he turned and walked away, smiling. I didn't say the sequence was wrong, nor did I say there was a problem with these two herbs. The old man looked puzzled. So what does that mean? The young man enthusiastically explained. Both the blue lotus herb and golden money wort are gentle in nature, but when combined, they cause an explosion. Adding rosemary for neutralization can solve this issue. All master pill refiners consider this to be true. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with doing that, but it's not permitted for you. He hurriedly asked, It's not permitted for me. Do I have some special condition? He pointed at the old man. Exactly. You are indeed special. If I'm not mistaken, you probably never eaten anything primarily made from rosemary, right? The master pill refiner stroked his beard hesitantly. Ah, I do have a slight allergy to rosemary, so I avoid it. He revealed the truth. Actually, it's not an allergy, but rather the inherent nature of your tea conflicting with it. Those who cultivate deficiency of vital energy with a natural inclination towards fire, whereas rosemary grows in water, possessing a watery nature. When your tie interacts with it, it easily nullifies its watery properties, rendering it ineffective. While others cultivate the essence core pill, the effects of rosemary remain, but not for you. These two herbs lose their neutralizing effect on you, naturally leading to a reaction and causing the explosion. Upon hearing this, he was extremely shocked. How did you know that I cultivate deficiency of vital energy? Countless suspicions arose in his mind. Deficiency of vital energy is our family's heritage technique. I've practiced it since I was young. It's true that it has a watery nature, but this is my secret. I've never told anyone else about it, not even many of my close friends know. How did this person know? Could it be that he... He regained his composure and asked calmly, Do you know of any way to resolve this? The young man became even more puzzled. As a two-star master pill refiner, if you already know the cause, shouldn't the solution be simple? But I couldn't find it. He fell into a moment of contemplation. The Heavenly Way bookstore can point out any flaws at any time, but it doesn't provide solutions. To solve this, I'll have to supplement my knowledge myself. It seems that I'll need to acquire more books in the future just to expand my knowledge. Hong Yun nodded, saying, I've been instructed. But in his heart, he thought, Indeed, rosemary is just a neutralizing herb. If I can find an herb that doesn't conflict with my key and can replace it, then I might be able to solve the problem. Both pill masters were surprised after hearing this. One of them remarked, This, Chairman Ouyang silently thought, a newly promoted master pill refiner, just elevated to one star, is now teaching a two-star master pill refiner. Zhang Chuan smiled sheepishly and said, Chairman Ouyang, I believe you must have heard what master pill refiner Hong Yun said earlier. Please return this money to me. And there's also 100 million gold coins that I deposited previously. Oyang glanced and replied, Master Pill Refiner Zhang, with your skills, you could easily make money by selling a few pills. You don't need to worry about these few coins. Elder Hong Yun cheerfully added, Master Pill Refiner Zhang, here are the breakthrough pill and blood of the colossal titan. The young man grinned in response, Thank you for the breakthrough pill and blood of the colossal titan, worth 2,300 million gold coins, and they're free. Fantastic. By evening, Zhang Zhuan slinked away like a soulless body. Teacher Wang noticed him walking alone and remarked, Lu Shen, that's Zhang Zhuan. Lu Shen, surprised, glanced over and asked, 
Zhang Xuan, a teacher at the academy, yet paying no attention to appearances. It's indeed unexpected. Why recruit someone like this into the academy? Teacher Wang chuckled. I believe he must have been intimidated by your challenge and is now contemplating strategies. That's why he can't sleep and looks like this these days. Lu Shen smirked arrogantly, contemplating strategies, wanting to defeat me. Dream on, Teacher Wang chimed in. Exactly. Honestly, it's just his bad luck. Just when you could find a reason to attract the attention of the master, he shows up, ruining everything. Zhang Zhuan continued to drag his feet with each step, while Lu Shen remained indifferent, saying, Let's go, hurry up and find the master. If we're late, who knows how long we'll have to wait in line. The other guy quickly agreed. Exactly. The master is our ultimate goal. This Zhang Zhuan is just a small figure in the academy. As for Zhang Zhuan, his face was expressionless, moving like someone intoxicated. He sighed, it's over. Mental exhaustion, physical depletion, and now the drowsiness kicks in again. I need to quickly return to the classroom, distribute the items to them, and then take a nap. Seeing him return, the students exclaimed, Teacher, he's back. Entering the classroom, he silently praised them. In just five days, Wang Yin, Liu Yang, Zhen Yang have all reached the peak of the first heaven gathering essence realm. Although Zhao Ye hasn't reached the peak yet, her strength has surpassed theirs by far. It seems she's only a small step away from reaching the Danchen realm. Yu Tao has also progressed from the early stage to the mid-stage of the gathering essence realm. He chuckled and addressed them. Not bad. It seems everyone has been putting in a lot of effort these past few days. Zhao Ya, Yu and Tao, come here. He handed her a box and instructed, Zhao Ya, this is the breakthrough pill. It can activate your body's potential. Tonight, find a wooden tub, soak yourself in it, and then take the pill. She reached out and took it with both hands, replying, Thank you, teacher. Zhang Zhuan continued, As for Yu and Tao, do you know why I accepted you as my student? Yu and Tao hesitated, Hi, hi. Not allowing the student to finish, he immediately placed a hand on his shoulder, encouraging him. There's no need to feel inferior. If you diligently cultivate, you'll surely surpass even Zheng Yang. Hearing those words, Yu and Tao felt a surge of motivation and asked eagerly, Teacher, can I really surpass them? Zheng Zhuan affirmed, Rest assured, I didn't misjudge you. However, your talents aren't outstanding, so if you want to surpass others, you'll have to endure more hardships. Are you willing? He then took out a vial of liquid and carefully asked for the student's consent. All right, this is what I've prepared for you. Tonight, apply it to your body. The process may be extremely painful, but if you persevere, you'll reap unexpected rewards. Are you willing to give it a try? Yu and Tao resolutely declared. As long as I can improve my strength, I'm willing to endure even more hardships. Zhang Zhuan happily handed him a bottle of liquid. All right, apply this. Success won't come in just one application. Wait until the pain subsides, then continue. I'll give you five days. By the time of the next student competition, I want to see your progress. He extended it to him, saying, Yu and Tao, I absolutely won't let down your trust. He quickly turned to give Zhao Ye careful reminders. Right, Zhao Ya, the breakthrough pill's name, implies breaking through sound. In reality, it contains a pure yang medicinal power. When it enters the body of someone with a pure yin constitution, the opposing yin and yang energies, unable to coexist, bring about catastrophic consequences. However, under the pressure of the pure yang medicinal power, the pure yin constitution, in order to protect the host, will proactively activate, thereby achieving the intended effect. The girl also showed her determination. Teacher, please rest assured, I won't let down your trust. He instructed the two. All right, you two can leave now. Call Wang Yin and Liu Yang over here. Yu and Tao replied. Yes, sir. Wang Yin entered the room and said, Teacher, you called for us. Both were surprised to see their teacher at sleep. Luckily, he jolted awake and asked, Ah, you're here. How are the hands and feet of both students? Wang Yin said, Thank you, sir. My foot is completely healed. Liu Yang also grasped his hand and replied, My hand is the same. Thanks to you, sir. He pointed to the table and told them, On the table are the withdrawal technique, rights technique, and body technique. 
all created by me, specifically for you too. I'll give you both five days to diligently practice. Within these five days, you must achieve a small breakthrough. Bok approached the table and touched the books. Bok surprise. Wang Yin thought to himself, some of the martial arts techniques from my royal family are considered remarkable in Tian Zhuan City, but they pale in comparison to those of Teacher John. Liu Yang also thought in surprise, what kind of technique is this, so concise? Bolt bowed their heads and said in unison, thank you, Teacher Zhang. We absolutely won't disappoint you. Zhang Zhuan chuckled and said, with diligent practice, I trust both of you. All right, go outside and call Zhang Yang in here. Wang Yin hesitated, handed a piece of paper to the teacher, and said, Sir, this is what my father asked me to give back to you, the payment for the body conditioning elixir. He said your kindness in teaching and guiding his son has been more than enough, and he doesn't want to burden you any further. He casually took it and chuckled, saying, Well then, I won't be polite anymore. The girl smiled back and said, Thank you, sir. Zhang Yang entered and called out, Teacher. He turned his head to look at him and replied, Ah, you're here. Taking out a vial of pills, he instructed him carefully, Zheng Yang, your cultivation technique is decent, but your cultivation level is still too low. Here are some life giving pills. In the next five days, think of ways to break through to the second heaven in martial arts. Quickly acknowledging, Zheng Yang responded, Yes, teacher. With everything settled, Zheng Zhuan let out a long yawn. All right, you all go and cultivate now. As the sun began to set behind the mountains, the twilight sky looked romantically enchanting. On the way back, the students were buzzing with conversation. Wang Yin, worried, asked, Where's Teacher Zhang? Zhao Ya, have you seen him come out yet? Zhao Ya replied, I don't think so. Let me go check. Meanwhile, Liu Yan was chatting with Zheng Yang. The techniques teacher taught us this time are really amazing. Zheng Yang, let's spar a bit in the next few days. Excited, Zheng Yang responded, sure. On the other hand, Zhao Yao went back inside to look for the teacher, silently pondering to herself. Teacher has been in his room all day today without coming out. She opened the door and said, teacher, someone is. Her eyes widened in shock, teacher. Then she stepped out with a sorrowful expression. Wang Yin asked, is the teacher in there? The girl remained silent, then started to cry uncontrollably, saying, Teacher is asleep. Hearing this, Zheng Yang commented, The teacher probably hasn't slept for days. Yu Tao chimed in. No wonder he didn't look well earlier, his eyes were all red. Liu Yang added, He just transmitted the techniques, body techniques. Wang Yin also expressed deep concern, because of these medicinal materials. Zhao Ya wiped her tears determinedly. We must diligently cultivate and fulfill the teacher's instructions. We must win this assessment to live up to his expectations. They all joined hands and shouted in unison, showing their unity. We absolutely cannot lose. Liu Yang said, That's right, the teacher has sacrificed too much for us. At the dormitory, the housekeeper Dao frowned in contemplation. This guy is quite something. Based on my secret investigation over the past few days, I found out that on the day I was attacked, Shang Bin never left his room. It means that Zhang Xuan attacked me and turned me into a pig's head right in front of the dormitory. The more I think about it, the more angry I get. A teacher should be honest and upright, but he sneaks around and causes trouble. The key is that he even gave away things like the cold yang mother herb generously, without any stinginess. With a teacher like that, the young lady probably wouldn't have been bullied or suffered. The elegant lady passed by and called out to him, Keeper Dao. Then she handed him a letter, saying, The old master sent this letter. He took the letter and responded, Hmm. The letter read, I am aware of Zhu Ye's situation. In a few days, I will personally come to the city to inquire about teacher Zhang Zhuan. Regarding the pure yin physique, there has been a similar case in Zhu Ye's mother's family. To activate it, a hefty price must be paid. Not to mention the karmic affinity. The most important thing is to have the breakthrough pill a rare pill worth millions. When I visit the city, I plan to request an audience with the king to assist me in purchasing one from the Master Pill Refiner's Assembly. Additionally, I have instructed the messenger to deliver 100,000 gold vouchers to Teacher John, so he doesn't bear the expenses of saving my daughter. 
Bai Wang Chain doesn't wish to owe favors nor cause harm to his benefactors. The elegant lady handed him another letter and said, Keeper Dao, this is what the Lord has instructed the humble servant to deliver. The Lord also instructed to convey to Teacher Zhang his gratitude for his teachings, which will be repaid. He instructed, I understand. Keep this matter from the young lady for now. Retreat. Just in time, Zhao Ye returned, and the old man turned to her, saying, Ah, miss. She responded, Keeper Dao, I just asked someone to inquire about a pill called Breakthrough Pill. How much does it cost, and is it as valuable as the life-giving pill? Upon hearing this, he replied, The Breakthrough Pill is extremely useful for the pure yin physique. Miss, rest assured, in a few days, the Lord will assist you in procuring it. But inwardly, he thought, the news about the Breakthrough Pill is highly confidential and the Lord must have spent a considerable amount of money to obtain this information. I didn't expect him to learn about it so quickly. The girl chuckled shyly, saying, No need to worry. Teacher John gave me one and instructed me to diligently cultivate it for the past few days. He couldn't believe what he had just heard and asked again. He gave you one. The keeper's face turned pale, and he pondered. The Lord just mentioned that this is a top-grade pill, each worth millions. Even if Bai Yu Chang were to buy them, it would entail significant losses, which might not be recoverable for years. Yet, Teacher Zhang casually gave one away. The keeper asked Zhao Ya, Miss, may I have a look at this pill? She politely extended her hands, saying, Here it is. The old man opened the box, surprised to see the pill inside. He thought to himself, The aura is so rich, it must be a top-grade pill. Who is Teacher Zhang, after all? I used to think he was just a useless figure in the academy a petty teacher who deceives female students. But he turns out to be a master of the Azure Aperture Realm, a true expert who dedicates himself wholeheartedly. Zhao Ye quickly closed the box and smiled, saying, All right, Heeper Dao, I need to take the pill now. If possible, have someone guard the door tonight to prevent others from entering. He watched her silhouette, many thoughts running through his mind. Even the Lord can't afford the breakthrough pill, yet Teacher Zhang casually gives it to the young miss. The Lord, I know he doesn't want to owe anyone favors, but he may not be able to repay Teacher Zhang's kindness in such a short time. Step by step, Zhao Ye entered the bathroom. She slowly lifted her legs and stepped into the wooden tub. Finally, she relaxed in the hot water, recalling Teacher's instructions, and promptly took out the pill to swallow. After finishing the pill, she closed her eyes tightly and muttered, Preserve the original, transport the techniques. In the quiet night, Yuan Tao stared intently at the bottle given by his teacher, murmuring to himself, Teacher Zhang said to apply this. Not just once for success. Let's start. I'll try a little bit first. Immediately, he poured the liquid from the bottle onto his skin. Suddenly, Yuan Tao's skin became hot and painful. His eyes widened, his jaws clenched tightly, and he writhed on the ground in agony, his mouth continuously uttering desperate cries. His body trembled his eyes welled with tears as he whimpered. It hurts so much. Should I give up? The feeling right now is quite good. My strength is gradually increasing. But if I give up now, will Teacher Zhang abandon me? If Teacher Zhang doesn't need me anymore, I'll still be a fat pig in others' eyes. In the past, I was expelled by ten teachers when I went to pay respects. No one cared about me. Only Teacher Zhang, who didn't mock me for being fat or having low strength, even created techniques for me spending days and nights without sleep to find translations, helping me progress and breakthrough. After a prolonged internal struggle, he showed determination. No, I can't let down the expectations of my teacher. If I can't endure even this little pain, how can I face my teacher's guidance and nurturing? Teacher, rest assured, I won't disappoint you. I will persevere to the end. Long-lasting pain is not as bad as short-lived pain, but pain is pain and it's better to endure it once. As he spoke, he poured all the water from the bottle onto his body. His eyes glowed red with intense pain, and Yuan Tao exerted all his strength to let out a loud cry that echoed through the mountains. It's too painful. Enduring every bit of agony, he lay on the grass panting heavily. Strange objects appeared all over his body. This is scales on my body. Could it be success? Let me try. That tree looks sturdy. Let's choose it. Here we go, using the old method to strike and see. He gathered all his strength into his arm, and then leaped forward, pushing with all his might, causing the tree trunk to deform. 
a series of trees began to collapse under his extraordinary strength. Yulin Tao was utterly astonished. What is this tingling sensation? There's hardly any pain, and my defensive strength has increased. I've succeeded. Teacher, I've done it. At the dormitory that night, Zhao Ye's steward stood outside, extremely worried. Hearing the sounds coming from the bathroom, he rushed over and inquired, Miss, are you all right? She replied loudly, Steward, don't come in. I'm fine. Inside the bathroom, everything was in disarray, with the bathtub broken into pieces. The steward kept asking, Miss, what's happening? She hesitantly responded, Um, I've broken through to the second heaven in martial arts, and it seems like my physique has also been activated. The steward sighed in relief. Well, that's great news. Congratulations, Miss. She joyfully thought to herself. Thanks to the method of channeling strength that Teacher Zhang provided, the frenzied energy in my body has indeed diminished significantly. Moreover, I've truly succeeded. Thank you, teacher. At the dormitory, Zhang Zhuan, with a blank expression in his eyes, had just woken up. He puzzledly asked himself, Why am I sleeping here? I was clearly looking at the food and clothes neatly placed on the table. He thought, Could it be those kids? They must have been too tired yesterday, fell asleep on these chairs, and the others were probably afraid of disturbing them. So they moved everything here. These past few days have been really exhausting. Without my current strength, I would have noticed if someone took me away. It seems it's not too late. As for the payment I received from the other party, it's over 80 million. I should deal with it soon. Zhang Zhuan disguised himself as Master Yang Zhuan and returned. Xiao Kong greeted him happily. Master, you're finally back. Master Yang Zhuan said solemnly. All right, no more noise. Let's get to work. Outside the hall, people stood in long lines. Sun Kong, with a cheerful face, stood in front of a row of people, line up one by one. Master Yang Zhuan pointed, and a green light surrounded the person. Indeed, with such skill, health was restored, and strength increased abundantly. Sun Kong enthusiastically bid farewell to the guests. See you next time. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Someone who had no intention of queuing up said, Sun Steward, I feel embarrassed. He handed over a letter introducing himself automatically. We are representatives from Hong Thang Academy. Sun Kyung's face did a complete 180. His expression darkened. Get lost. Cue up who you think you are. Can't you see so many people lining up? This person was quite diplomatic. As representatives of Hong Thang Academy, shouldn't your teachers follow the rules? This is the master pavilion. And if you don't abide by the rules, believe me, there are people who will throw you out onto the street. The person immediately faltered. I, Sun Steward, please don't be angry. I am Lu Shen, a renowned teacher from Hong Thine Academy. I wish to pay my respects to the master. I hope Sun Steward can recommend me. Sun Steward seemed to recall something. Lu Shen, isn't he the solitary emperor level teacher Lu Shen? He's probably the most likely candidate in all of Tan Zuan City to become a master. It seems Sun Steward remembered something else. Oh, oh. Clearly, this is someone of importance. I just told him to scram. Yesterday, I offended three master teachers, and today, I'm causing trouble with a future master. Why do I always run into masters like this? Just saw the old man wave his hand, ready to scold whoever he wanted. It's so simple. Why am I the only one suffering like this? Lu Shen handed Sun Steward his business card. Here's my introduction card. I hope Sun Steward can assist me. If the master agrees to meet, my brothers and I will be deeply grateful for your help. Sun Steward's face now turned serious. All right, just wait a moment. Someone accompanying Lu Shen remarked, Ha, borrowing a tiger's fierceness, relying on the owner's authority. Lu Shen replied, Just a small role. Teacher Wang doesn't need to pay attention. Lu Shen continued, Everyone, we're really sorry, but we need to pay our respects. Immediately, someone came forward to greet them. Oh, it's Teacher Lu Shen and Teacher Wang. I didn't recognize you earlier. How rude of me. You two are famous figures in the academy. Unexpectedly, meeting you here today is truly a blessing. If there's any trouble in the future, please don't hesitate to ask us. Sun Kong opened the door, his face darkening. Everyone, I'm sorry, but the master has some urgent matters to attend to. I hope you'll come back another day. Everyone was surprised and somewhat dissatisfied. 
Why it's so sudden? Teacher Wang pressed. What about us? Won't the master call us in? Once again, Sun Kong spoke up. Now, I'll give you two options. One is to pay and join the line, and the other is to leave. Teacher Wang didn't hold back anymore. Is this how a master behaves? A mere steward, don't make decisions on your own. Sun Kyung's expression turned serious. Make decisions on my own. The master has said it. Everyone must line up. Even teachers don't get special treatment. Otherwise, if everyone just hands over their cards, wouldn't the master be overwhelmed? And don't talk about this teacher or that teacher. Money must be handed over. Don't tarnish the profession of teaching. The people who had welcomed them earlier immediately turned their backs. What? So you not only bring the cards, but also want to mingle in. The master is right, treating everyone equally. Even teachers are not exceptions. One person echoed another's words, trying to interfere without paying, shameless indeed. Earlier, I wanted to connect with him, but with this attitude, a master won't take notice. He even wants to become a master, how ridiculous. The group that had welcomed them earlier now mocked and left, leaving the two brothers from the other house feeling embarrassed, not knowing where to hide their faces. Sun Quan Jia smoothly interjected, Gentlemen, please, there's no need to call anyone, is there? Teacher Wang couldn't hold back anymore, you. But Lu Shen cut in, you're too kind, Sun Quan Jia. It's our fault, and I apologize in advance. Teacher Wang asked Lu Shen, Lu Shen, what should we do now? Lu Shen replied casually, What else can we do? Gather three million and stride in with honor. Teacher Wang remarked, Where are we going to get three million now? Originally, we could take some from the household's funds, like a few days ago, when we taught a powerful business method and collected several hundred tuition fees. Now asking for three million, even tens of thousands would be difficult. Pausing for a moment, Lu Shen said, You know it yourself, Teacher Wang. The relationship between me and the master isn't good. Even if he has it, he won't give it to me. Besides, I don't know how to ask. Teacher Wang suggested, Write Lu Shen. If you can't get it, maybe you can borrow some from Shen Tu King. You grew up in the palace. So borrowing three million shouldn't be difficult. Become a student, then return it to him. Lu Shen was puzzled. Shen Tu King. Returning to a few moments ago, Sun Kong took charge. Master, this person. I also want to know who this person is. Earlier, while I was dealing with those people outside, I didn't realize how this person entered. Is he Shen Tu King? The master widened his eyes. You're. Shen Tu he spoke up. I've come here presumptuously to ask the master for help. The master replied, Help. I've said that I won't assist. Moreover, why come dressed like this if you're asking for help? Shen Tu said, I know it's inappropriate to come seeking the master's aid. Originally, I should have prepared all the transcendent realm secrets before coming, but the situation of our elder worsened yesterday. I'm afraid he won't make it through today, so I had to take the liberty. I hope the master will accompany me to save the life of our elder. Our elder's health is the biggest secret of this city and cannot be leaked to the outside world. The master thought to himself, It seems King sees me as the last straw. Nevertheless, it's still a transaction. If I can truly save that elder, then there's no need to push for the transcendent realm secrets anymore. The master made up his mind. All right, I'll go see. Xiao Kong, tell them to stay here for now. They can come back another time. Sun Kyung replied, yes. However, Shen Tu suggested, Master, there are many complicated people outside. It might be better for the master to go through the back door. The master replied, it's okay. Shen Tu and Yang Zuan utilized their body techniques, running along the rooftop. Shen Tu he thought to himself, Throughout the journey, I've used all twelve types of body techniques, running so fast that my blood pressure dropped. Yet, the master behind me remains calm, with steady breathing as if unconcerned. His pure ki and exquisite body techniques are truly remarkable. No wonder the three masters are so deeply impressed. With just this strength alone, he must have surpassed the peak of the transcendent realm. Who knows, he might even be a grandmaster realm powerhouse. Meanwhile, Yang Zhuan pondered. Since the beginning, this guy has exerted all his strength to run madly. It seems the situation of the elder venerable isn't very optimistic. But what is this? He said we're going to save someone. Yet the result is just running with all our might. If it weren't for my high-profile image as a noble master, he might have. Fortunately, 
I learned the heavenly doe body techniques a few days ago, increasing my speed significantly. Otherwise, not only would I not be able to catch up, but I might have disappeared without a trace in no time. During this phase, I'll use the heavenly doe body techniques to the fullest to chase after him. It's true that it consumes a lot of key. The matter of Zhu Ye's disciples has been settled. Now it's time to find the transcendent realm secrets. Then, it'll be this Yang Zuan's turn to depart. Although disguised as a revered master, respected and worshipped by everyone, the responsibilities are burdensome. Once exposed, death would be a relief. The duties of this nobleman are truly beyond human capacity. In the rear courtyard of the royal palace, both of them set foot on the ground at the same time. Shen Tu said, Please, master, this way. The master replied, Yes, lead on. Immediately, John Qian, Zheng Fei, and Liu Lai emerged, welcoming the master with respectful greetings. Master, he responded, Ah, you're all here too. Lying on the bed, eyes closed, was the vital essence of Tian Chuan City, Shen Hong. Shen Tu respectfully said, We hope the master can help. The master calmly stated, If I can save him, I will. Then he assessed the situation. It's no wonder he came to seek me out. With its current condition, if not treated promptly, it's hard to say if he'll make it through today. Taking hold of Tam Chuan City's vital essence, the master checked his pulse and remarked, There's no sign of activity in the Heavenly Way bookstore. It seems Shen Hong isn't comatose. He's still awake. But if we ask him to fight now, it may not be realistic. Given its current state, forcing him to engage in combat might result in his death before I even intervene. Shen Tui appeared anxious. Master, is there any way to save him? He stroked his beard, closed his eyes, and pondered. For the conscious, we fight. For the comatose, we intervene. Both methods have been used. Both can turn the Heavenly Way bookstore into a book. But with this half-dead condition, what should be done? After contemplating, he said, Yes, here. What do you have that can quickly induce unconsciousness without causing death? Shen Tu murmured to himself, Unconscious, but not dead. Quickly unconscious, but not dead. John Qian, Zhang Fei, Liu Lai. Each whispered to one another. When saving someone, the only methods are to infuse spiritual energy, administer medicine, acupuncture. But we've never heard of this method. Zhang Fei continued. But Shen Hong is on the brink of death. Why seek a drug to induce unconsciousness? Zhang Qian concluded with confidence. You all have never seen the methods of the master. Shen Tu recalled, Oh, I have a type of powder that, when sniffed, can induce unconsciousness. The master looked puzzled. Indeed, this type of medicine. But King, why do you have this on you? King handed the medicine to him while explaining, Master, don't misunderstand. I brought this medicine because I feared unforeseen circumstances on this outing. Now he must have felt fortunate, administering the medicine for Shen Hong to inhale. Here, come. Sniff this, just take a whiff. All four of them, witnessing this scene, were completely dumbfounded. Historically, when people save others, they give them tonics, herbal concoctions, or spiritual energy. But the master gives them a sleep-inducing drug. The one who succeeds must have his own way. Shen Tui, hesitant and coughing, said, Master, this medicine is incredibly potent. Given the weakened state of the old master's body, I fear that if he inhales it, he won't be able to bear it. He asked, the medicine is strong, but can't you bear it? Then he pondered, true, using intention to persist now. If he falls asleep now, his intention will be lost. It might be better to die on the spot. The master hesitantly asked those present. So, is there anything that can strengthen his vitality in a short time, even if he falls into a coma, so that he won't die? Li Lai said, fall into a coma, but not die. How? Zhang Qian began to speak separately. Master Liu, in the diagnostic techniques of the master, it is said that inducing unconsciousness in others can help diagnose accurately. Master Liu said, These are all diagnoses made while the person is awake, but diagnosing after inducing a coma, I don't know, I'm not sure. Shen Tui spoke up. Master, all the tonics that the old master can take have been used up. The herbal remedies that boost vitality no longer work for him. Our master began to worry. This person is already a medicine chest. Must we accept defeat? Li Lai suddenly remembered and said, I know a way to increase vitality in a short time. Just as Shen Tui mentioned earlier, 
After taking it, it can boost the strength of the weak, restore spirits, and have minimal side effects. But, the master immediately asked, But what? After the master's question, Liu Lai continued, This is not a tonic, but a poison. Both Shen Tu and the master displayed expressions of astonishment, uttering in unison, Poison. Zhang Fei pushed his glasses and said, Everyone knows that the poisoner is a profession that circulates among the nine professions. When preparing medicinal materials, some clandestine activities are performed behind the scenes, causing others to look down on it. But this profession can be completely inherited, enough to show its value. Zhang Xian chimed in, But it is said that this poison concoction is made from over ten extremely toxic substances in special proportions, similar to alchemy, all extremely complex. The preparation of pharmaceuticals, because there are many conflicting toxins, forms a perfect balance, harmless to life, and can even activate latent power, restoring spirits in a short time. Incredibly miraculous. Liu Lai chimed in again. Although this poisoner profession is rare and peculiar, concocting such a thing is extremely rare even in that LC. Zhang Fei hesitated and asked, Does the master not know about it? The master seemed somewhat awkward at this point, scratching his head and rubbing his eyes repeatedly. I, I'm not fond of this poisoner profession, so I haven't researched it. So which one of you has this type of medicine? Zhang Qian was the one to speak up. This type of medicine must be concocted on the spot by a poisoner and cannot be stored. Otherwise, once a medicinal material undergoes a transformation, various anomalies may occur, leading to imbalance and turning it extremely toxic. How could we have such a medicine? Upon hearing this, Zhang Zhuan understood and chuckled. Ah, if we need a poisoner to concoct it, then please let me find someone. This statement momentarily startled Shen Tu in his somewhat bewildered expression. Zhang Zhuan waved his hand and exclaimed, I need this medicinal concoction to save your old master. Shen Tu, upon hearing this, didn't know how to respond. His face now wore a somewhat puzzled expression as he said to Zhang Zhuan, our Tian Xuan city is just a small city without any hierarchy, so we all have this profession of poisoner. Could it be that the master doesn't know? After hearing this, Zhang Zhuan felt a pang of panic, hastily covering up. No, no, there isn't. His heart nearly leaped out of his chest at that moment, thinking, I never expected that while pretending to be a master for so long, I'd be hit with such basic knowledge right on the head. I almost blew my cover. Quickly, he coughed a few times diverting the attention to another topic. This was my oversight. I thought this was the place I lived several years ago. In his mind, another thought emerged. If I had known earlier that Tianxuan Xuan City didn't have poisoners, I wouldn't have mentioned it. Although Heavenly Way Bookstore has many books related to poison, they are just records. Since Tianxuan Xuan City doesn't have this profession of poisoner, it seems that after this trip, I'll have to explore more about this world to avoid arousing suspicion about my identity. At that moment, all three masters engaged in a telepathic conversation. John, one of the masters, spoke up. The presence of a poisoner indicates that at least the place where he resides is of a high rank, but we've traversed through all the top-ranking cities around here, and we've never heard of anyone like this Yang Zhuan. Just as they were discussing this, Zhang Zhuan turned back to them and asked, Do any of you know what kind of poison this concoction is made from? If so, we should prepare some now to save the person as quickly as possible. Speaking of concoction, Master Liu Butley stated, The ingredients for this potion are extremely simple, comprising a total of ten types of toxins. Even I can list them out, but achieving a balanced blend without side effects and enhancing spiritual essence depends entirely on the skill of the poisoner. Even a slight deficiency is unacceptable, even if one knows the method. Seeing that there was no other way at the moment, and realizing that the potion couldn't be concocted, Zhang Zhuan came up with an idea. All right, you tell me the ingredients, and then find those items for me. Despite his persistence, Master Liu reluctantly recited the ingredients for Zhang Zhuan. The ten herbs are poisonous herb, poisonous venom of aged bamboo, the essence of flower, ink of the Black Emperor's pen. Zhang Zhuan pondered deeply, his expression darkening as he listened to the names of the various toxins, Indeed, these are all highly toxic substances. Just using any of these on a cultivator of the transcendent realm would send them straight to heaven, let alone others. When these ten herbs are processed through special refining, they can become potent supplements. One cannot help 
but admire the boundless schemes of those in the poisoner profession. Truly marvelous. Suddenly, Master Cheng furrowed his brows and spoke up. But even if we find these items, what use would they be? Without a poisoner to concoct them, these things would be utterly useless. Master Zan quickly chimed in. Indeed, that's true. Shen Hong's condition is indeed dire. If we don't have a solution, then we should think of alternative methods. Although the potion concocted by a poisoner can quickly restore one's spirits, which is currently one of the best methods, it would be futile without the expertise to concoct it. Success would be out of reach. However, Zhang Zhuan didn't see it that way. He looked at the masters confidently and laughed heartily. Ha 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 ha. You both said it yourselves. The potion is effective. If that's the case, then why not just concoct it? Now that we know the herbs, whether there's a poison or not, surely there must be a way to save someone. Both Master Cheng and Master Zhan spoke up at the same time, advising him with concern. We don't understand the properties of these toxic herbs. If there's any mistake, it could kill the person instantly. Moreover, Shen Hong is your elder and a figure in Tan Zhuan City. He brushed off their words, waving his hand casually, and calmly said, All right, if we'll understand, we can learn. If we don't know how to concoct, we can try. There's no need to worry so much. His words left the group in shock, their faces turning pale. Learning, trying, you can't just jump in like that when the water's at your feet, they exclaimed. At that moment, Shen Hong lying on the bed heard everything and burst into tears, wailing, Shen Tu, what have I brought upon us? Every profession in this world requires guidance. Without studying for a few years, it's hard to achieve anything. You just open your mouth and claim you've learned it all. Learning rubbish. All I want is to live a few more years, protect Tian Zhuan City for a few more years, and now I've been drugged and forced to take poison. Whose fault is this in the end? A while later, Shen Tu brought the various herbs Zhang Zhuan needed. Holding the vial of poison in his hand, Zhang Zhuan carefully examined the ingredients and found them to be complete. He intended to use the Heavenly Way bookstore to find the most accurate method of concoction. But Master Liu immediately stepped forward to stop him once again. Master, poison craft is no joke. It's best not to fool around with it. However, he paid no heed to their warnings now, urging them to remain silent for a moment so he could concentrate. Just wait a moment. It'll be over soon, he assured them. Quickly, Zhang Zhuan closed his eyes and entered the virtual space of the Heavenly Way bookstore. Books flew around chaotically, then converged into a massive golden book. He hastily flipped through each page, studying intensely. Meanwhile, outside, Master Chang used his mental technique to transmit his voice. Poison craft is a high-level profession, with vast and profound knowledge. It can't be learned overnight. Master Zahn followed suit. This master's knowledge is extensive, and his breakthrough techniques are truly unbelievable. Let's just observe and see. Eventually, Zhang Zhuan successfully learned the solution. Just then, Shen Hong was on the verge of collapse, and there was no time to waste. Shen Tui, in a panic, turned to Zhang Zhuan for help. He knelt down, bowing his head, pleading for Zhang Zhuan to quickly find a way to save his elder. He was willing to offer anything, even in Tan Zhuan City. Zhang Zhuan, focusing on concocting the remedy, urged him to be quiet. He reassured him that once the concoction was ready, they would administer it to Shen Hong, let him regain some strength, and then devise a plan to solve the situation. At that moment, Zhang Zhuan carefully mixed various poisonous substances together in a container, then shook the test tube a few times before pouring the concoction into the container already mixed with toxins. Witnessing this scene, Master Liu couldn't help but speak up. Indeed, this is reckless. These toxins, not to mention a drop, even a fraction of one-tenth or one-one-hundredth, can cause immediate discoloration in others, which is extremely terrifying. Therefore, the concoction of poisons requires professional equipment precise to every millimeter, with no room for error. But the master is being careless like this. I'm afraid this attempt will end in failure. Master Zahn also agreed that his words were entirely valid. In poison craft, every time two substances are mixed, one must wait for a reaction before adding a third, much like alchemy. Following that, Master Cheng added, At any given time, when adding an herb, there must be a specific sequence. Even the slightest deviation is not allowed in the combination. While they criticized Zhang Zhuan's method, he successfully crafted the tenfold poisonous solution. 
Seeing Zhang Zhuan's successful completion, all three masters were astonished, their mouths gaping in disbelief. Success. Is it possible to succeed by just mixing randomly like that? Isn't success supposed to be more calculated? Looking at the vial of medicine in his hand, Shen Tu harbored doubts, but still gritted his teeth and decided to give it a try. Gently, Zhang Zhuan opened Shen Hong's mouth and slowly poured the medicine in. At this moment, Shen Hong, deeply aggrieved, began to cry softly. I am the respected elder of Tian Xuan City, revered and esteemed, even more than the king himself. Yet I am made to ingest poison without even testing the elixir beforehand. Why am I suffering like this? I can't live in peace, nor can I peacefully meet my end. Amidst his existential doubts, Shen Hong suddenly experienced a violent seizure, his limbs trembling and stiffening in agony. Shen Tui, witnessing this, turned pale with fear, frantically calling out, Elder. The other three masters were not entirely surprised, as they had anticipated the outcome from the start. Shen Tu turned back to look at Zhang Zhuan with eyes filled with disdain. Before he could say anything, Zhang Zhuan brushed him aside, saying, Step aside. Then, Zhang Zhuan approached Shen Hong and gave him a sharp slap, contorting his face. Instantly, there was a slight movement in Shen Hong's throat, and he managed to swallow the concoction. He immediately sat up, breathing heavily. It turned out that while administering the medicine, Shen Tu had not paid attention and poured it continuously, almost causing Shen Hong to choke to death. As Shen Hong regained his composure, he quickly clasped his hands in gratitude towards Zhang Zhuan, saying, Many thanks for saving my life, Master. Zhang Zhuan replied, No need for excessive courtesy. Now, let me observe your martial prowess. Upon hearing about martial arts, Shen Hong was momentarily taken aback, then burst into laughter and said, After facing life and death, I've come to understand. If I can protect the city, I will. If not, it's fate. No need to strive against it. Then, he slowly got out of bed, and, in a solemn tone, as if recounting the wisdom of age, he said, Alas, my body is now extremely weak, devoid of any vigor. Even if I engage in martial arts, it would be futile, and I dare not invite ridicule. Sitting beside him, Zhang Zhuan listened with a somewhat skeptical expression. When I suggested martial arts, I meant for Heavenly Way Bookstore to form a record to finally understand what has befallen you. What use is it for a tall figure like you to put on such a show, pretending to be philosophical? 